Greetings, ladies and gentlemen of the interwebs, and welcome to Supreme Films. I am Zach, as usual. I say as usual because there is a small percentage of certain weeks where I am instead an angry Indianapolis Colts fan, but that is highly irrelevant right now. What is relevant is The King. Starring Timothy Chalamet, it depicts the rise of young King Henry V as he struggles with the responsibilities of a crown he did not ask for. So, let's dive on in. I think that my biggest issue with this movie is that it felt that at times there were scenes missing. What I mean by that is a character would make a huge decision or a significant event would happen off screen. Hal, as they call Henry V, makes a big decision, largely off screen in the first act of the film, and we don't get to see him really sit with it and struggle with the weight of the decision. I'm willing to bet that they filmed these scenes but opted to leave them on the cutting room floor for one reason or the other. The result of this is an act one that feels hurried and sort of unbelievable. We also don't really get that much of a sense for Hal's character in the early portions of the movie. One moment he's essentially estranged from his family, a deadbeat, drinking and partying, and then BAM! He shows up randomly on the battlefield to solve the issues of his country. It doesn't feel genuine or earned. And that was my major gripe with the film. I have a few other ones, but I'll get to those as organically as possible, so let's move on. The second act of the film is an improvement over the first one, but it's still fairly lackluster. They make an odd choice with one of the side characters. He's so obviously manipulating Hal throughout the film that it really makes me wonder what they failed at. Because if they were trying to be subtle so that they could shock us with this betrayal, they failed. I saw it coming from 1700 miles away. On the other hand, if they weren't trying to surprise us, then they just make Hal look extremely naive. This would be fine if there were precedent for this, but Hal is shown to be shrewd and competent throughout the film, and an excellent judge of character. So it's just inconsistency with the character at this point. Moving into the third act, we arrive at hands down the strongest portion of the film. Robert Pattinson shows up as a French prince and delivers an absolutely unsettling performance and also delivers a god-awful French accent. French accents are tough though. The climax of the film is the Battle of Asian Court. There's a lot of good here and a little bad. First off, they totally rip off the Battle of the Bastards in the way that the battle is shot. It's not even subtle. Other than that, I quite enjoyed it. You get to witness the tactical brilliance the English displayed in the battle as well as the heroics of Hal. This battle alone almost redeemed the film in my eyes. Almost. So, is The King a good movie? I feel like this film didn't tap its full potential. We don't get to know King Henry V as well as we should, and I think that's the film's biggest issue. I wanted more private moments with him in the film, where we really get to understand his character and explore it. They didn't sell me on the protagonist of the film, and that's a big problem. That being said, the film is gorgeous to watch, and the score is awesome as well. There are some god-awful care cuts though, so be prepared for that. Why would you get rid of your sideburns? Oh dear god, why? It's like when a little kid tries to cut their own hair while their parents aren't looking. Anyway, this film is a bit of a mixed bag. It's worth it for the third act, but it's a bit of a slog getting there. I'd give The King a flat 6 out of 10. Lost Potential is the name of the game for this one. It could have been so much better. It also could have been so much worse, I guess. Usually medieval films don't do very well, so I suppose I should be grateful that this one is at least bearable. Anyway, that's all for me, folks. The King is available to watch on Netflix, so check it out and let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like and subscribe if you'd like. It's totally up to you. I'm Zach, and I'll see you on the next one, folks.